Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to discuss an important member of the papilloma family, human papilloma virus, also known as HPV. HPV is circular in shape and is icosahedral in structure. It is a naked virus that is extremely sturdy. This virus contains DNA which is double stranded. HPV has over 75 serotypes all of which might have different presentations. The major reservoirs of the human papilloma virus are the skin and genitals of humans. The infection is transmitted through warts, which can be through direct contact or through fomites that are common everyday objects likely to carry infection. It can also be transmitted through the sexual route by coming in close contact with the genitals of an infected individual. After contracting the virus, it can take about 3 to 6 months for presentation of the disease. Human papilloma virus affects the basal layer of the skin and mucous membranes, causing hyperkeratosis or wart formation. HPV makes proteins called E6 and E7, which inhibit tumor suppressor genes P53 and RB respectively. This can result in malignancy or can cause cancer. Cutaneous warts usually are found in the cute age group or in kids. It predominantly affects hands and fingers and is caused by serotypes 2 and 4. Plantar warts are commonly seen on the soles of feet and are much deeper and more painful. These are caused by serotype 1. Anogenital warts, also called condylomata aluminata, affect the anus and genitals of both males and females. Most of the time, these are benign and are caused by serotype 6 and 11. These serotypes also cause laryngeal papillomas in infants by ingesting fluid during passage through the birth canal and can affect sexually active adults. Sometimes, these anogenital warts can cause premalignant lesions. Serotypes 16 and 18 are responsible for this. Very rarely, serotypes 31 and 35 may be seen. This can cause cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus is found in 95% of cases of CIN or cervical intraepithelial neoplasia and has been directly linked to the disease. It is important to remember that all warts are infectious, irrespective of their location. To diagnose HPV, we cannot use gram stain or culture because it is not a bacteria but a virus. In females, a pap smear is taken and the cells are stained and observes under the microscope. HPV causes normal cells to grow into coleocytic cells which show nuclear enlargement and perinucleocytoplasmic vacuolization. Other methods of diagnosis on the basis of clinical appearance and by using DNA probes or PCR testing. Warts are usually treated locally by cryotherapy, electrocautery, or using chemicals such as salicylic acid. The drug of choice to treat HPV infection is Imicumod, which is an immune response modifier. It is available in multiple delivery systems. Imicumod acts by inducing pro-inflammatory cytokines that cause apoptosis of the affected cells. Some other medications that have been used are virus-specific cytophovid and interferon. Can HPV infection be prevented? Yes, there are effective vaccines available, the most common of which is Gardasil. There is also a newer recombinant vaccine now available. However, the most important method of prevention is to always practice safe sex. I hope this video helped you learn something important about human papilloma virus. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.